Thank you ever so much for having me. Listen, thank you for coming. Welcome to Sub 7. <laughs> I wasn't getting paid for these videos, but looking at the burgers that Richard's just brought in, I mean, you're winning me over. <laughs> you guys might have heard of this brand behind me. I certainly have in the comments of pretty much every video over the last year, dying for me to come and try the club. And let's be honest, there's no better place than to do it in at their headquarters behind me. Quick disclaimer, before this video, they kindly offered to pay my expenses and travel to come down here. They've even offered to build me a full set of irons for myself, which I have very gracefully turned down as I don't want this review or experience to be tainted. The fact that I'm getting monetary gain from it. That being said, they're gonna build customized laser, a wedge that we're gonna put together now for one of you guys. So I'll show you guys how to win that club at the end of this video. I've had the pleasure of Nick showing me around today. I am the club fitter here at Sub 70 and also the club builder. We're also gonna build a little something for uh, the viewers that we're gonna give away. What are we gonna build? So we're gonna do Sub 70 wedge, custom engraving, to whatever spec you want the wedge at, but It'll be perfect. Using this bad boy over here, basically, which I'm very excited to get out. So we're gonna put the SAS Golf logo on here and uh, details how to win that wedge at the end. We'll obviously go behind the scenes, we're gonna go through the workshop. I've got lots of stuff to talk to Nick about as well. Give a rough idea. I mean, club fitting is an interesting one because what's your average length of a club fitting at the moment? It's about two hours. So you're thorough, aren't you? Yeah, we make sure it's... You make sure it's perfect. Basically, you need a new back by the time you finish. And also you don't charge for club fittings either. No, fittings are completely free. Well, Welcome to the workshop. This is where it goes down, isn't it? Yeah. This is where you get all the clubs hand built by yourself. So you're basically the one to blame if anything goes wrong, but you've been telling me no one ever comes back. Very rarely does anyone better come back. And I don't think many people watching this video know, this is a very small operation. This is a family business. Talk to me about the business, um, your dad, your sister, your mum. So yeah, in terms of sub 70, I do the website, the fitting and the building. They kind of do customer service and that sort of area. Very small. How many people is it? Five of you? Five of us here. The JB, 60 degree. And is this the forged carbon steel head? This is forged carbon steel, correct. And then what swing way are we going for the wedge today? Between D4 and D5. Okay. Perfect, and we're gonna pick out the hosel, we're gonna go feral, and then we're gonna do some customization as well. Yeah, we'll get some lasering going. You've excited me. Not only are we lasering the head, we're lasering the shaft as well. Yeah, we'll put some cool down the shaft. Which I didn't think was possible. I think we're gonna go one on one SAS Golf Limited Edition, something down that chord. Very um, uh, very arrogant of myself, just one of one limited edition, my channel. Um, and we obviously go do the head as well. What are your thoughts? Is this your normal ride home? <laughs> <laughs> great fun. Golf course is happy with this then? We get a few funny looks. I was going to say, so run me, hang on, run me through. You turn up to a golf course with this thing. How does that chat normally go? Well, we normally just go straight to the first tee. And you see a lot of uh, seniors <laughs> down the fairway. <laughs> Thinking we like yobos or something like that. <laughs> we always love a stock room. Got a bit of stock. Shafts, how difficult it is to get hold of shafts at the moment? It's, yeah, we've got about 4,000 coming this week. Yeah. Get us, you know, the next few months. Everyone's feeling the pinch in shafts. Has that been since pandemic, essentially? Yeah. It's just been basically nothing coming. I've heard that. The big guys have kind of bought it all. Yes. Leaving us with not a lot. So we start with Dynamic Gold S400. We start off by tipping the shaft, which is four inches to play to flex. Nick, tolerances in the world of golf. Yeah. Not the best. No, so we, when we cut, I double check everything. And if it's meant to be 35, it will be 35. Nick essentially builds everything. So whatever you get fitted for, length, lie, swing weight. I'm the one doing it. You're the one that's gonna do it from start to finish and roughly how long does it take to get um, a, a order. Say you've got fitted today, how long am I waiting? So we try and do it in two weeks. Worst case, if it's really, really busy, it's three. Yeah. But it's never more than three weeks. Fair will show them the fair that this is my choice. I had to go with the channel colors, as everyone knows, I'm very much black, white, and gray. We need to check the swing weight, which we're trying to get about D4 to D5 for a lob wedge. Swing weight point is about two grams, so only two grams off. So the reason we dry build like this, I can now take this head that's 301, pick a head that's 303, and we should be at the magic number. So we're just shy of D4. So by the time we add the glue, 
will be at our number. Uh, why are you so popular at the moment? I think that's the interesting bit. Comments at the moment are flooding in on my channel with positivity. Why is that? Price is probably the key factor. Obviously, price is going up, especially with the big brands. I'm talking about £1,100 plus for a set of irons. Yeah. Whereas you can come here, free fitting, four to where you're looking at about five fifty, pushing maybe seven at the very at the most. This is obviously a cool bit of equipment. Nick, talk to me about it. Yeah. So, laser engraver. We can go any depth. We're currently going to put your logo quite deep so we can paint fill it probably black. Nice. So we've got the logo ready. Trace it onto the wedge. That's where it's going to sit. And can you do this on art? You basically, by the sounds of it, you can do it on everything. We can do it on anything. So uh, anything in there, clamped in, ready to go. How much does it cost to get um, engraved? So for like a single logo, it's about twenty pound a wedge. Yeah. If you want a little bit more, yeah, wood as well. It's. Oh wow! Is this? Let's have a. <laughs> this is when we first had the machine. That's my dog. That is brilliant. Look at this. So I've got like 300. <laughs> I love it. How long does it normally take now then, Nick? So we're going to go like logo deep. Yeah. So probably 15 minutes. Perfect. If we're etching it off maybe like 30 seconds. So before sub 70, yeah. the ultimate question, what were you playing in the bag then? What wasn't I playing? <laughs> <laughs> What's your favourite set of irons? The Tiger Woods blades back when Mike were doing clubs. Did you? I don't think I've ever played two rounds with the same kit. You're a tinkerer. I, I, yeah. You know how I can tell that? Because of those lasered wedges that you have, that full glove. Everything's lasered in this thing. Car, shoes, trousers, hat. Love it. Best putter you've ever used? I've had a couple of circle tees. Oh yeah. Okay. But what I'm currently playing, the sub-70 one is by far. You, of course you're going to say that. No, of course you're going to, no. the sub 70s no. is the best. It does look nice. Why is it the best one? To be fair, again, like all of our stuff, yeah. this is milled from a single block. Yeah. In terms of quality, yeah. it's up there with Scotty Cameron. The only thing is it's 150 quid, not 350 quid. Drop the mic. <laughs> <laughs> Obviously this is a popular product. It's growing. The price point's competitive. How? Is it how are you gonna keep growing, i.e. new stores, whilst maintaining that? Because that's gonna be the challenge in the future. Yeah, it's, to be fair, we'll probably get another builder in here. Yeah. Obviously, they've got to meet your, meet your yeah, standards. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And if anyone had complaints and they come to you and go, hang on, I'm a swing way out, rebuild? Yeah. Make sure well, it's perfect. Yeah, yeah, that club will be built. But that doesn't happen. So. <laughs> <laughs> I like that answer. Boys and girls, it's finished, it's out, it's deep. Nick's painted it black and it's looking good. He's now adjusting the shaft and we're gonna engrave it. I'm not gonna show you exactly what we're engraving, I'm gonna show you in a second, but that is pretty cool. She is finished. SAS one of one, sub 70 collaboration. Just gotta stick the head on it now, Nick. Do you ever have someone go, oh, you know what? I really now need this. Out of all the fitters, we've had one person who had got fitted with graphite. Yeah. 4.5, slow swinger. Played steel their whole life. They came back for a set of steel. Steel. But and then you just swapped them over? Just or? swapped them over. So the shafts is a free change. We just have to charge it a bit fetch for new grips. 1.8. I don't think I've ever seen anyone in my life measure glue. <laughs> Yeah. I mean that's I mean I know you're meticulous from just meeting you for an hour or so but this is impressive. These yeah, we're sending out so many clubs, you know, I can't have a head fall off. Centering beads just to make sure the shaft fully aligned. How did you go on, tell me, how did you get into club building then? Give me your background. So well I've always been in golf, greenkeeper, pro shop, all the usual ones. And it just came to ordering clubs and not getting what you were what expecting, was expecting to get. More kind of swing weights where you have a set of wedges, they all need to be the same. Yeah. But they were never near. Yeah. So I just thought, I've always bought my own shafts, own heads, and just done it myself. As in 2022, technology wise, I don't think can be your only selling point. I don't think you can just sell purely on the most forgiving driver. This kind does X, Y, and Z. I think is the meticulous side of this is a good product. Don't get me wrong. And the price point, obviously, you've cut out all the middlemen necessarily in it in terms of your marketing. You're basically relying on social media and word of mouth. But then uh, there's customer service, the aftercare. Aftercare is probably one of the worst sides, I'd say, in golf. And you guys seem to um, double down on that. Again, because we're quite small in the UK, America is obviously a different level. Yeah, but we're quite small. So if someone does ring up. They'll either speak to me or Rich. Yeah. That's it. There's not like eight, nine people. 
price back to this person, this passing it along. Yeah. There's two of us, we'll get it sorted. Yeah. For a little trick that I saw the Mizuno guys do, a little bit of fishing wire. So obviously we've dry built it. Yeah. We don't want the head to move. And what does the fishing wire do then? Does that just give it extra bit of friction? It just, it makes the head not move. So yeah, so D4 is a target weight. Bang on. Is she allowed to leave here now, Nick? Yeah, she's all yours. <laughs> Massive shout out to you, mate, for having me down here. And your whole family, your dad, your sister, your mother, everyone a part of the team as well. We've got a lovely little gift for the channel. If you do want to win this wedge, please go and follow Sub70's Insta on the right-hand side up here. Like this video, and I want you to comment down below what is the most favorite wedge you've had in the bag or still have in the bag and I will ship this out to one of you wherever you live. Internationally, UK, America, Asia, don't mind, I'll stump up the cost. Guys, thank you ever so much for watching this video. If you do like this video, please make sure to stay tuned as Nick's gonna give me a full custom fitting straight after this. See you guys later.